Hey, what's up my friends? Welcome back to another Sprinkler Supply Store product overview. I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Hunter Mini Weather Station. The Mini Weather Station combines three of Hunter's click sensor devices, all on one uh, pre-built, easy to install product. Those three sensors are the wind click, which we will talk about, the mini click, this is the rain sensor, and then we have a freeze or temperature sensor right here. So all three of these devices you can buy separately, but if you buy the mini weather station, it all comes uh, pre-installed and it's really easy to install because uh, the wires come out here from the bottom. You can uh, put your splice up inside here. And then this is kind of a reducer bushing or a cap that, that you could either, well, let me step back. You could either install this on a, um, I think this is two inch, two, yeah, uh, this is a two inch uh, PVC uh, fitting. So you can install this on a two inch PVC uh, pipe, or you can put in the bushing that comes with it that has a, I think this is a one inch bottom. No, sorry, there's a half inch outlet here. So you could also install it um, on, a, on a half inch riser post, whether that's PVC or perhaps it's a um, galvanized or metal riser. So let's talk about the different devices. The first up is the wind sensor. And you notice here on the side, there is a speed indicator or a speed setting. And you can just use a flat tip screwdriver to adjust the wind speed setting or the amount of wind that it would require in order to turn the system off. And then if we turn over this way, there is also the switching speed. So when we take a look at this, this doesn't spin around and around and around like a lot of anemometers do. You can actually hear it click. I'll put this up to the mic. I don't know if you can hear that click. So all that's doing is uh, essentially interrupting a circuit. So as the wind blows and these cups have resistance from the wind, then it cuts the circuit and it pauses or it stops the irrigation system. So you won't see this spinning, 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 spinning. It just needs enough resistance per the setting, per the wind speed, in order to make it click. Okay, that's all there is to it. So that's the wind speed. It's great to turn off your system. Uh, you can set the wind speed, but it's nice to turn it off if it is windy because then you get drift, you get overspray, and those water droplets can't reach the soil. So it is, it can be important to turn your system off when, it's, when it is windy. And then on this side, you have Hunter's famous mini click. Come on, stop focusing on my face. All right, well, let's hold it back here. That's so strange. There we go. Actually, I'm gonna flip it around so you get, uh, better indicators, there it is. So uh, you can set this all the way from an eighth of an inch down to three quarters of an inch just by turning the cap like this. Okay, and that will allow you to set the amount of rainfall that it's going to take in order for it to shut the system off. What I'm also gonna do is lift this up so that you can see what's inside. I have done a video of this all on its own, but it is kind of nice to see, um, gosh, I'm having a kind of an issue here. These cork discs, there we go. So when these are wet, they swell up and they again, terminate a circuit. So what's underneath here, it's actually down below, there's a plunger. So when these cork discs swell up, well again, I'll hold this up to the mic, You can hear that clicking, that click interrupts the circuit and that pauses or stops the irrigation system from running. This is completely uh, settable, again, from an eighth inch to three quarters of an inch of rainfall that it will take in order for the system to turn off. And then this guy here is the freeze sensor and I believe that is just at 38 degrees. Um, or let me see, let me double check that, I'm sorry. 37 degrees. So at 37 degrees, this will trip and that will pause your irrigation system from spraying onto the sidewalks and causing people to trip and fall. So it's not really a weather station that gives you data coming back that you can look at the information. It's, it's sensing the data in real time and then turning off based on the switch, on the switch points. So 
I hope that helps. You can actually install this on any irrigation system. It does not have to go directly to a hunter system. It can go on any irrigation system that has a sensor terminal on it or any controller that has you know, a rain sensor terminal can accept the Hunter Mini Weather Station uh, wired up to it. And uh, yeah, super easy to install, easy to set up, easy to use, everything about it's easy. I'd highly recommend giving it a try. And as always, put products like this in areas that are not gonna be vandalized. Kids love these things. I don't know why, but they love them. So, especially around baseball parks. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the Hunter Mini Weather Station and uh, give one a try. And if there's anything we could uh, answer, any questions you have for us, don't hesitate to reach out. You can reach us by phone, chat, email, and you can text message us now as well. So till the next Sprinkler Supply Store product overview, happy sprinkling. We'll talk to you then.